how do you feel about this roster going into the postseason? Yeah, we're very we're very happy with where the roster is at. You know, we have we have 19 guys on here that that are uh, have been here for the majority of the year, with a couple guys supplemented in here recently. But I think the common ingredient is is that we got a lot of passion on these with these 19 guys, and then we have four guys uh, up in the American Hockey League who are under reserve right now. And and uh, if if we get d deep enough into the playoffs, we're we're expecting to supplement with those players. Oh, I hope so. Uh, we finished second. We finished off a good regular season, and uh, you know you have to have your confidence, otherwise you have no chance of winning. Um, the guys, you know, seem to be light, light mood, and and uh, ready to start the playoff season where all the games count now. How do you feel you match up with South Carolina? This is a team you guys saw a lot this season. Well, I think it's kind of funny that we end up playing our division and Greenville is playing Florida, and it's uh, you know we've played each other so much this year. It's almost like you you know their tendencies. We've watched video on them all the time. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's whatever team wants to do the little things with the block the shots, get the pucks in, and pecks out the danger zones, and uh, just the willingness to win all their battles. It's it's going to win. It, there's no real hidden secret. It's just who wants it more. I think that they're a very, very equal team. I think their number seven seed is not indicative of, of what they have down there. And I think uh, we definitely have, have our hands full with, with what they have. Um, you know, they're a very talented team. They're gritty. Uh, they, they play a predictable style, and that's, that's a style that we're trying to implement as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm anticipating a very good series. This team was better at home all season long. You play the first two games on the road. What kind of a challenge is that? And then how big is it going to be, you know, even if you split, just to get back to the arena at Gwinnett Center? Um, yeah, it's uh, for some reason we've been really comfortable at home, and uh, you know it's just under our lights. We would just you know excel there, and uh, you know on the road it's we played pretty well too. We had a couple wins here, so we know we can we can win this building. But you know every team in our division and our conference actually is strong now, and and you can't take any game lightly. So um, hopefully you know we just want to get off to a good start and play really hard, play our game, and forget that we're in South Carolina and try and just you know let the uh, the crowd sleep a little bit and and uh, you know steal a win here. Well, it's, you definitely want to get off on the right foot. So, you know, playing in this barn, we've had we've had mixed success, and that's been kind of our our, sto our story all season on the road. Is it's been kind of haphazard. It hasn't been consistent all the way through, and so that's an area of concern for sure at this point. But you know, hopefully, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to embrace and and really control the adrenaline of the of the of being entering the playoffs here for the Gladiators for the first time in a couple of years, and be able to utilize that to our strengths here. Um, you know, carry that over to our home ice after. After maybe a, you know at worst a split here, and then be, hopefully be able to have at least two out of three cracks at at uh, sealing up the best of five series on our home ice.